Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video here on Ice Moto. Today we are going to drive a Yamaha YC85. Okay, but firstly, let's do a little sound check and then we will get into the riding. Okay, so now we're gonna go to some close roads in Thailand and try out the YC85. So let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have ridden this bike once before. I have only been in second gear, so I haven't like hit the power band really. But once we're at the close roads, I'm really gonna try it out. And uh, hopefully you can hear me good, because this bike sounds super much. <laughs> the front wheel is a little bit bent, so it's a little bit sketchy, but yeah, it should still work. <laughs> okay, so I have only ridden on this bike for like five minutes. It's a fucking beast, also. And it's super fun to wheel it, also. Helvete! Wow! And what's so nice about this bike is that it's like super light, so it's so easy to get up on the back wheel. Let's turn around here. Oh wait, I think the back wheel is loose. Oh, it looks fine. Never mind, let's get back at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like blown away how I can handle these kinds of bikes. The only bikes that I've ridden are like 50cc. I, I have tried uh, 500 also, but uh, yeah, I haven't ridden them so much. But it's like insane that I can just hop on these bikes and still do like wheelies. <laughs> How am I doing with this? Can you like imagine when I get my 125? I will be a fucking beast also. Okay, some quick updates on when I will buy my 125. I have had my first uh, theory lesson. I had it yesterday. And uh, in two days I will have Risk 2 1, which is uh, when you get to drive the motorcycle. And uh, after that I can get my uh, uh, upskörning, as you call it, drive up to get the license. So hopefully I will get the license this year. Okay. <laughs> Helvete! The first time I rode a 125 four stroke, I thought that that bike had the most power in the world. And now I'm riding like these kinds of bikes, and yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Now we're gonna leave this stunt spot and go to the top of uh, Värkobacken. Comment down below if you want me to make another video on this bike because it's so fun to ride. It's insane also. Holy shit. Yeah, it's super beautiful outside. Currently my derby is uh, actually broken. That's because my rear brake stopped working. When I came home from Frihamnen, the back brake stopped working. Hopefully there won't be too many old angry people at the top of the hill. And it will be nice to try out the uh, enduro tires or motocross tires on the gravel because I've only ridden SM tires for my whole life. Every single bike that I've tried has have SM tires. So it's going to be very fun to try hill climb with this bike. You have so much traction on the, this motocross tires. Things like crazy. Just look at that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, what a sunset, also. Look at this. Just look at this. It's insane. This might be the last like, day that I can call summer because school has begun and oh, oh my god. Hopefully my camera can pick this up properly because this is so beautiful. Holy shit also. Now I'm happy. I'm sitting on a Yamaha YC85 on top of a hill. Not a problem in the world. The sun is setting. Dark home is beautiful. That right here is true happiness. Just imagine when I have a 125 and we can make like these road trips like almost every single day. Some of you might know that I will sell the Derby in uh, October. In uh, like a week or so I'm gonna make it stock again and everything like that. And, uh, make it ready for to be sell. Uh, I will make a Derby Center tuning story and some videos of the bike after I've sold it. <coughs> And those videos will be released during the winter, so you will get content during the winter as well, but not as much. But I'm gonna try to make a couple of more videos of the derby before I sell it. Almost every one of you are moped riders, so it will be very sad to leave the moped community because it has been such a big part of my life. But I feel like I'm ready to step into bigger things and bigger bikes and get into the real super moto and bike life world. Because riding these bikes is what I love doing. It's the thing that makes me the most happy in life. I will never stop riding until the day I die. 
which will hopefully happen as late as possible. But I also hope that uh, getting into the Supermoto community will open up a lot more opportunities to make better videos and uh, more insane content. You know, I started this YouTube channel just because I thought it was fun to look at myself while I practice wheelies. And then uh, apparently you guys liked it, so I just kept on going. Oh, okay, the bike died. Why did the bike die? Doesn't matter because we're going downhill. So now I think we're gonna go back up on the hill and make the outro. And yeah, so I see you up there. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Maybe drop a nice comment. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.